marriage is a beautiful idea born in the heart of God for the full expression of love between a man and woman. In marriage, two souls belong to one another and with affection and tenderness, freely give themselves to each other. Being with you over the last five years has been a true blessing. It has been my ultimate joy to grow with you from our teenage years into our adult life. It's hard to believe that we've journeyed together from studying abroad in Dominica to taking on college, working through long distance for two years, to finally starting our marriage in May. The generous, patient, and selfless woman that you've become continues to inspire me. Seeing your faith grow over the last three years has challenged me to chase after you all the more. So I, Lucas, take you, Michaela, as my wife. I will be faithful to you as a partner and a friend. I vow to support you and hold you in sickness and in health, in plenty or in poverty, in times of celebration and in times of mourning. I will trust you and respect you and support you and your goals. I promise to be truthful, to be kind, and to cherish you. I promise to lead our family towards the Lord in faith and grow with you in mind and spirit. With Christ as my example, I vow to love you as long as we both shall live. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. Threefold cord is not quickly broken. I look forward to growing older with you and realizing our shared dreams. With all these things being said, and in the presence of God and our family and friends, I, Michaela, take you, Lucas, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful wife. Well, Lucas and Michaela, having heard your vows to one another and being a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, I declare you to be husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the law of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, whom God has joined together. Let no one separate. And Lucas, you can now kiss your bride. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for uh, the reason that we are gathered here today. Thank you for uh, Michaela and Lucas and their union under your name. Lord, I pray that you uh, bless the rest of this evening, our conversations and our uh, fun that we will have together. I just uh, also ask that you bless the food we are about to eat. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May your marriage be blessed with love, trust, friendship, and mutual respect. May this be the start of many years of happiness and joy for you both. Cheers. When Lucas brought Michaela home for the first time, everybody instantly liked her. I mean, it's hard not to. Michaela is quiet and soft-spoken, but her actions speak much louder than her words. Her steady and consistent presence says much more than what needs to be said out loud. Michaela is honestly one of the most genuine people that I know. She's a quietly passionate environmentalist who orients much of her lifestyle around sustainability. She's also someone who routinely hangs out with my parents, even when Lucas isn't around, and someone who will happily put up with hours of public transit to help out some new parents, such as yours truly. She's also become an honorary Egyptian, learning how to make some solid malaheya and wana enif. They just make a great team. Michaela, I know you speak for everyone. And I say we're thrilled to officially welcome you into the family. <laughs>